So let's talk about Super Mario Maker 2. So you guys know already, Nintendo recently did a Super Mario Maker 2 Nintendo Direct, specifically talking about Super Mario Maker 2. The reason I'm doing this a couple days late is because I wasn't actually planning on watching that Super Mario Maker 2 reveal for uh, Super Mario Maker 2, at least more information on that game because I didn't know if I actually wanted the game, not wanted the game, what I thought about the game. But overall, people keep talking about Super Mario Maker 2, and it does seem like right now you really can't avoid any information when it comes to Super Mario Maker 2 so that's why I'm making this video I wanted to see what all the hype was and why everybody was talking about Super Mario Maker 2 so what do I think of Super Mario Maker 2 now that we finally have even more information on Super Mario Maker 2 honestly I can safely say this is one game from Nintendo that you're not gonna want to miss if you're a platformer fan or if you're a fan of Mario style 2d games you're definitely gonna love this game and I can also safely say at least from right now from what I'm seeing from the Nintendo Direct. This game is safely worth $60 and you won't be disappointed if you pull the trigger on day one for Super Mario Maker. And we all know this is one game from Nintendo that's going to keep getting updated for uh, years to come. So that's really great news as well. So there's going to be more content outside of the content that they showed. And of course we will get more information at E3 for this game and things like that. So there is more to this game and of course they'll be updating this game for quite some time I'm assuming just like they did with Super uh, Mario Maker 1. Now what are the differences between Super Mario Maker Maker 1 versus Super Mario Maker 2. I have to be completely honest with you guys. I did not uh, buy Super Mario Maker 1 back on the Wii U. However, I did own a Wii U. It's just that for some reason I did not buy that game because that was one game I never touched. So I can't tell you all the little differences. And when they were talking in the direct, I wasn't sure what was a new feature and what was not a new feature. So this is not the best uh, this is not the best video for knowing what the new features are, but I can tell you some things I know for certain that are brand new features. One of the nice things about this game is they do have a story mode in this game and you can't play through the story mode which is nice you don't just have to play random people's levels which I really do enjoy that aspect as well that they do have some kind of story mode is it as good as some of the older Mario's or any 2D Mario no of course because you're still playing like maker levels and things like that so that is uh, really cool one nice thing about this game is for the first time they did actually say that there is going to be co-op in this game now from what I've seen from the direct correct me if I'm wrong I didn't see any uh, aspect where it looks like there was a uh, two-player co-op in the game. What I seen for the co-op was the fact that two players with two Joy-Cons could actually make levels together, and I thought that aspect was uh, really brilliant uh, from Nintendo. And then another thing I did actually confirm is the fact that some people may be wondering, do you have to pay for the online service if you just want to download stuff? Because usually when you think of buying an online service, you're playing games together with somebody around the world, or you're playing uh, online uh, co-op with somebody from around the world, but it looks like in this case, as far as the Nintendo Direct is uh, concerned and with Super Mario Maker 2, it does look like, unfortunately, you are going to have to pay for online, even if you just want to download uh, levels uh, on Mario Maker. It's kind of a shame they're doing it that way, because that's not really playing with people, and I kind of wish Nintendo would have made that just a flat-out free thing, but I but I get it. It is technically on online uh, service, and it is an online feature of Super Mario Maker, and of course, they're trying to make money, and I do get it, so just be aware of that if you're buying this game, even to download other people's levels, even if you're not going to be making your own levels, or maybe you don't know how to make levels, or your levels suck, you will be having to buy the online service, just keep that in mind. I do know right now, I don't know when your guys are watching this video, but I do know they are running a promo on the actual store right now on the eShop. If you buy Super Mario Maker, you can get 12 months of Nintendo Switch Online at a savings of $10. It's pretty much a bundle with Super Mario Maker 2 and with uh, the online service, and you are getting a, a discount on the online service if you buy those together and it is uh, available right now on the eShop for pre-purchase if you want to buy that bundle specifically for uh, Super Mario Maker 2. And then another thing that they did talk about in this uh, direct specifically for Super Mario Maker 2 is the fact that of course we already knew this since this game first been revealed is the fact that we are going to be getting Super Mario 3D uh, levels in this game from the Wii U. That uh, 3D Mario game and that improvements to the game make this game a much more better game. There's a lot of stuff in the 3D, Super Mario 3D uh, game that are really bringing over to a Super Mario Maker. So overall, Super Mario Maker 2 really does seem like it has a lot more content than it did back on the, uh, originally back on the Wii U with the first Super Mario Maker. So overall, I can safely say this game is easily worth uh, $60 no matter how you look at it. And I'm definitely one of those persons that's 
getting more excited about this game. I wasn't too hyped about this game, but now, now that it's getting closer to release, I'm getting super excited about Super Mario Maker 2. Overall, everything with this game looks like it's going to be a flat-out fantastic game, a flat-out bigger game than it originally did. It looks like there'll be more to do, more to tinker with. Everything is just going to be more beefier in this game. And, of course, the biggest, coolest thing with Super Mario Maker 2 is, of course, for the first time, you'll be able to take the, you'll be able to take the Super Mario Maker experience on the go with the Nintendo Switch, so that's absolutely fantastic. And this kind of does worry me that they're focusing so much on Super Mario Maker because it's kind of disappointing for me personally. I kind of wish Nintendo in the future would kind of make a new uh, 2D Mario that wasn't in the new Super Mario uh, universe because for me personally those games have been getting stale over the years. So it would have been really cool if somehow Nintendo did uh, end up making a brand new uh, Mario game that wasn't Super Mario Maker or wasn't uh, new Super Mario Bros. But I get it. This one makes more sense. And of course, I think more people would probably be more happier with a Maker style game than a whole brand new 2D Mario, Mario harkening back to the days of the older ones or just a flat out better one that wasn't in the new Super Mario uh, Brothers uh, universe. So overall, it looks like this game is going to be flat out fantastic. And also, there is some other stuff in the game that I saw that weren't in any other Mario game to date, which is absolutely fantastic. Like for instance, I saw Mario driving a car and I know in any other a 2D Mario style game whether it's Mario 1, Mario 2, Mario Mario 3, Super Mario World you cannot do that so that is cool it looks like they're kind of taking new elements like for instance think about them making a brand new game it kind of feels like even though this is a game mashing all the old stuff up from all the old Mario games it kind of does seem like they're adding new power-ups to this game to make this kind of feel like a brand new 2D Mario game that's usually a uh, how the Super Mario uh, Maker was originally intended. Super Mario Maker, at least the first one, was intended to be like pretty much taking all the old aspects of all the old Mario games, putting it into one game so you can make your own levels. But it looks like Nintendo is going above and beyond. They're not just taking all the old assets from all the old Mario games, plopping it into one game and you tinkering around. It looks like they're going to be adding new assets that were never seen before in any other Mario game. Like for instance, like I said, the car. It looks like Mario's driving the car and I know in any other Mario game you cannot drive a car. So that's absolutely fantastic to see all the new power-ups and all the new stuff you can tinker with when it comes to Super Mario Maker. So it does kind of feel like we are getting a brand new Super Mario Maker uh, game, but then on top of that, it kind of does feel like we're in some ways getting a brand new 2D Mario game just because all these little uh, new new things that you that were never seen in previous Mario games that are in this game for the first time and they are exclusive to this game. So overall, I'm very excited about this game. I still don't know if it's going to be a purchase for me, but as of right now, my hype levels are definitely gone up from being low to uh, more higher than they ever were with this uh, recent Nintendo Direct for Super Mario Maker 2. Anyway, guys, this is Wayne from My Tech News, signing out.